Hey everyone, I'm Alex from Ratings.com. I'm excited to announce a new line of products that we're reviewing, computer mice. We've only recently started reviewing mice, so if there's a model that you'd like to see us review, make sure to vote for it on our suggestion tool linked in the description below. We're also looking to improve our tests in the future, so I encourage you to share feedback with us. Today, we're gonna look over the design, build quality, latency, and performance of the best gaming mice we've seen so far. Before we get to the reviews, I'd like to share some info about how we tested our mice. If you'd like to jump right into the action, feel free to use the timestamps below. Let's go check it out. I won't be getting too much into the nitty gritty of our tests, but let us know in the comments below if you have any suggestions to improve our test bench. Since we're talking about gaming mice today, one of the most important facets is the latency. Latency is the length of time it takes for the mouse click or other action to register on the computer. It is massively important since it can make or break your gaming experience. Nothing feels worse than waiting for your system to register your click. Thankfully, this isn't too much of an issue for most users, but for those who want the best of the best for FPS or fast-oriented action games, latency is extremely important. We use a laptop and a highly sensitive microphone to record the audio of the click. We measure the time difference between the mic hearing the click and when the input is registered. We take this measurement a couple of times before taking the average and using that for our result. We are aware that this test is flawed, which is that this click sound may be different from the actual click of the mouse. We always use the same system and setup so our results are comparable across all mice. We also check the DPI of the mouse. DPI is dots per inch, and for mice, this means that if you set it to 1000 DPI and move your mouse one inch, it will move 1000 pixels. DPI is also a factor for gamers, depending on your playstyle. We test this to verify and note any difference between the manufacturer's value and our measurement. This may indicate the level of consistency or any tolerances in the manufacturing process. For a full breakdown of the mice testing, check out some of our reviews below. All right, let's get started with our recommendations. The best budget gaming mouse we've tested is the Anker High Precision Gaming Mouse. It's got a surprisingly good build quality and feels well put together despite the lack of premium materials. There are RGB zones on the scroll wheel and the logo. The feet glide well, which is great for smooth movement across your desk or mouse pad. The mouse is rather large and tall, but it has a little bit of a shorter body, making it better for a palm grip or a claw grip style. Small hands might find it too big, and we don't recommend it. The cable has some issues with bending, it's a little stiff and keeps a lot of kinks from the packing. It's wired latency, clocks in at 14 milliseconds. This is good, but on the mid to high range of most of our mice, and it will hardly be noticeable for most users. Users are also able to adjust the DPI from 200 all the way up to 10,000 in 100 DPI increments. Combined with 12 programmable buttons, this mouse can be good for MMO gamers who want to create mini keybinds. FPS gamers might find that it is a bit heavy, but will appreciate the good latency. Here we have our best ultralight gaming mouse, the Final Mouse Ultralight 2. It is among the lightest mice we've tested, clocking in at only 49 grams at the lightest measurement. It is hardly noticeable in my hand. Besides looking cool, it has an interesting honeycomb design that can keep its structural integrity while also shedding some unneeded weight. Wherever you can save some weight, it's really important for these ultralight mice. It has excellent ergonomics and fits many hands due to its ambidextrous shape and comfortable curve. That said, the Final Mouse 2 works best for people with small or medium hands since it's not very large. The cable on the Final Mouse 2 is a braided cable that feels strong and doesn't hook onto anything on your average desk. You shouldn't feel any drag when using it, although using a bungee is still recommended to reduce the weight of the mouse. The Final Mouse 2 has great latency at 12 milliseconds. It does have fewer buttons than many of the other mice here, but for the type of mouse that it is, the sticks it comes with is more than enough. As far as small, ultralight gaming mice go, the Final Mouse Ultralight 2 is the best we've tested so far. Now we have the Scimitar Pro RGB as the best MMO gaming mouse. This mouse is excellent for MMO games with its 12 button side panel for customization. The grip, size, and feel of the mouse makes it simple to hold and easy to control during an intense raid battle. The yellow section here is actually a type of thin metal, lending the mouse to be a bit heavier than others in its range, but tough and strong to handle all sorts of gaming situations. The Scimitar Pro RGB also has RGB along its mouse wheel, Corsair name on the left click, and the logo under your palm. The 12 button panel is also adjustable depending on where you want it. It also has good ergonomics, allowing for a variety of styles of grips with different hands. The cable is average and runs into the issue where it is quite stiff and keeps bends from packaging. This can be annoying and can create drag when moving. 
The Corsair does have some great latency, sitting around 11 milliseconds. It does have an amazing DPI performance, which is customizable from 100 DPI all the way up to 16,000 DPI in increments of one. There's a lot of customization options for this mouse that would lend itself to any MMO player looking for a solid, tough, and performant mouse. The wireless gaming mice have been getting better and better, and of the ones we've seen so far, the Razer Viper Ultimate is no exception. It boasts an aggressive looking style, but has that sharp gaming feel to it. The back logo is lit up with RGB and it has a nice ambidextrous design with a low back. It also comes with a nifty charging cradle that is also RGB lit. You can set them both to the same lighting or individually assign them inside the software, Razer Synapse 3. It's a light mouse as well, which is nice for quick movements or slow methodical dragging. It's also not too big, which will be nice for carrying with you to any tournaments or LAN parties. The ergonomics are great, as it feels nice as a claw or fingertip grip. Due to its low back design and fairly short body though, it is not ideal for many people with larger than medium hands. There is no Bluetooth on the Viper, and you'll have to use the receiver that it comes with. You can plug the Razer proprietary cable from the charging cradle into the mouse to keep it wired as well as keeping it charged, which is great. The cable comes out of the box with barely any lasting bends and doesn't create any drag at all when moving around. The latency is also among the best of them. It has a 9 millisecond latency on the wireless receiver, and it drops down to 7 milliseconds when connected through the cable. The Viper has 10 total programmable buttons, which can be useful for both FPS and MMO gamers for a quick sniper button or a keybind for an ability. The DPI performance is quite good as well, going from 100 to 20,000 DPI in 50 DPI increments, which is great for customization. Last but not least, we have the Razer Naga Trinity. It is the best overall gaming mouse we've seen so far. It is a great, versatile mouse, thanks to its swappable side panel design. Whether you play FPS or MMO games, you'll be able to switch out the panel to find a layout that works for you. The Naga has a very gaming-oriented look with RGB zones on the logo, wheel, and side buttons. However, the side accessory with only two buttons will remove the RGB from that zone since they're not supported on this panel. It is also fairly light, clocking in around 96 grams if you take off all the side panels. Unfortunately, this affects the ergonomics, so we've kept the pieces on and the minimum weight goes up to 120 grams. The Naga is a well-built mouse, and although it is all plastic, it still feels tough and premium. With the side panels on, it feels quite good for most hands, but the size and shape tends to lend itself to a claw-style grip. The cable is where it loses a little bit, as the braided cable in our model was rigid and not too flexible, which would cause some drag during gaming. The latency we recorded is the best we've found so far at a whopping 6 milliseconds. This is incredibly fast for such a versatile mouse. The DPI performance also has a lot of room for customization. You can set the DPI from 100 all the way up to 16,000 in 50 DPI increments, which gives great options for most any gamer. And with 20 programmable buttons with the 12 button side panel attached, there's tons of room for keybinds. While those we mentioned are among the best, we did have a few others that were great mice, but didn't surpass the competition. The glorious Model O was an excellent mouse, and as far as ultralight gaming, scored similarly to the final mouse Ultralight 2. But the size, the weight, and the slightly slower latency were enough to bump it from being the best. There's also the Model O Minus that we haven't tested yet. It's smaller and lighter, but we can't confirm if it would dethrone the Final Mouse 2. We also looked at the Logitech G Pro Wireless, which is a favorite of many in the office. Unfortunately, the Viper Ultimate had better side button placement, and its cable for extending the wireless range is a little bit more rigid. These two mice are great choices, but just didn't make the cut. We've looked at some of the best mice we have so far. We started with the budget-friendly Anchor High Precision Gaming Mouse with its interesting design and decent specs. We looked at the Final Mouse Ultralight 2, which crushed at doing its job being a fast, light, and clean ultralight gaming mouse. The Corsair Scimitar Pro RGB was unsheathed as the best MMO mouse. With all its customization options and its premium feel, really made it stand out. As far as wireless gaming mice, the Razer Viper Ultimate was an excellent mouse. Although it did not have a ton of programmable buttons compared to some of our MMO mice, it had great latency, fit well into many hands, and had a lot of options for customization. Finally, the best overall gaming mouse went to the Razer Naga Trinity. It had enough versatility to work as an FPS or MMO mouse with great low latency and tons of customization to fit any hand or gaming style. So that's it for our best picks for the best gaming mice of winter 2020. 
Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments below. These are some great gaming mice, and it's great to see the latency of these wireless mice as low as some of the ones that are wired. The customization of many of these mice is also staggering, so we're really excited to see what comes next. You can check out all the measurements for any of the mice mentioned in this video on our website, linked in the description below. If you want to see our test results first as we buy and test new models, then you should become an insider on the website. Like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be alerted when new videos drop. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.